Hi right, guys, check this out. That's the apple tree. And that's up there. Can you see the top window there is my window. Hey, clear blue skies. It's five degrees C today. You can see your breath. I've been waiting for this weather all year. This is my kind of weather. Just thought I'd share it with you. Bit autumnal, because we're going to do a four week shave. So let's go in there now. Crack on. Hi guys, how are you all this morning? Hey, as you've just seen, it's an absolutely glorious morning here. The weather's sitting at about five degrees. Clear blue skies, you can see your breath, you can hear the leaves scrunching under your feet. Absolutely wonderful. This is the kind of weather I've been waiting for since about the 1st of May. <laughs> wonderful. So we're going to start off, what a wonderful morning, to start off this special week of activity here on John Shaves 101. When I say special week of activity, what I mean is I'm going to do an extra shave because I'm off work. We're going to do Phoenix Fall Week. We're going to do um, three shaves. I'll do one today, I'll do one Wednesday, and then my Saturday shave. All going to be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Fall Scents. I hope you like them. If you're new to the channel, please consider giving me a sub. I really would appreciate it. If you're a returning customer, thanks, guys. A returning customer, a returning viewer, thanks, guys. Your support is much appreciated. Before we go any further on a morning like this, it's got to be Timmy's, hasn't it? Look at that. We've got our uh, our fall cup. Timmy's splash of caramel syrup in this today. Sweet it up a bit. Mm. Oh my word. I made it strong. I made it strong today, guys. Absolutely. I'm really feeling it. Really feeling good and feeling energised this morning. So we'll run through what we're using today's shape. Hardware. Check this out. That is a gold handled Emperator brush. Um, I think it's Borgia. I think it's Borgia. Um, or it may well be uh, dyed boa. But it's very, very uh, thick, very, very coarse. Um, I've used it lots and lots of times and it's just not softening up at all. Um, but it feels a bit like a badger to me. And that handle there, that's like solid 24 karat. It's not, it's plastic painted gold. But there you go, it goes in with the theme. And we'll put that in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. Show you that every week, just in case you forget what a cup looks like. Uh, <laughs> razor for today, McCurr 34G. This one was given to me by a kind friend of the channel. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I had one myself, uh, but mine had a scratch on the top plate. So I've put mine away in a box. I may well give that away, but I would never give this away. This was a gift. So thank you very much to the friend from the channel. Uh, and in that, screw it at the bottom. There you go. In that, we're going to be putting a first time use for me today, London Bridge. Now, when I was making the thumbnail for this, uh, and I put this at the front, you'll see on the thumbnail, it kept falling over like that. And I said to my wife, I said, uh, London Bridge is falling down, <laughs> falling down. Oh, guys, anyway, there you go. We'll open it. Oh, well, just in case. I don't know if you want to pause. I don't know if my camera's up to it. If you want to pause. Well, there it is. I don't, think, I don't think I've used these before. Dropped it in the sink. Yeah. Doesn't matter, it's going to be getting wet anyway. Let's have a look. Look at it. On the blade itself, it says there, uh, London Bridge. The light may not be um, the best lighting. It's going to be bright because, like I said, the sun is out and it's right behind my bathroom window. Absolutely wonderful. A glorious day. Not for my wife. <laughs> it's too cold. Ah. Uh, it's wunderbar. Okay. Um, the soap we are going to be using today. PAA Briar. Check this one out, guys. This is fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Somebody's used it. 
But anyway, yeah. No, oh, absolutely. Straight away I get um, a tobacco scent, but it's a very mild tobacco scent. And then the more you sniff it, for me, the vanilla seems to come through behind it. And that's pretty much at this stage all I'm getting. 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 God, you wouldn't think I was relaxed and refreshed today, would you? Wonderful, wonderful fall scent. A pipe smoke and tobacco. And vanilla, oh, it's absolutely wonderful. So we'll put that on there. And we're going to be barming up. Look, we've got the uh, star jelly aftershave. So we'll put, but I'm going to treat this as a balm. And what I'm going to do is because I like a bit of aftershave splash, we've got this wonderful amber. This is a beautiful, sweet amber scent that was gifted to me by Stuart George. Thank you, Stuart. Love it. Uh, Stuart's given so much to this channel, uh, very kind, very generous man, uh, thank you Stuart, uh, and he sent that up for me, he put it, we did a bit of a trade, uh, and I've said it before, I always end up with the better end of the deal with Stuart and the trade, uh, and he put that in for me, uh, and it's nice, I love it, absolutely wonderful, so without further ado, we'll wet the face, and then we'll see where we go, I've never used this briar before, uh, and I'm off work, so, just got out the shower, done my hair, eh? who does that remind you of? I've had some new subscribers as well, look at this guys, there's, there's a reason, isn't there? PAA gets so much love, absolutely, and I can, the scent strength is about a five, um, I would say the scent strength is about a five, it's gone up to just touching six, when I lathered it, it seemed to come alive a little bit. Here we go. Look at this. It's just wonderful. This brush, it's a strange one. Because the minute it gets wet, it turns into the softest, floppiest brush ever. Look at this, guys. Mm. It smells absolutely wonderful. So how are you all doing? What are you up to this week? Please let me know. If you've used Briar, what you think of Briar? Look at this, guys. Look at this. You could go on and on and on. We'll put that down now and we'll crack on with this shit. It's not going to be a long shave today. Um, because I want to get it, get it up. Uh, and I've got stuff to do. Even though I'm off, I don't sit still, me. Samantha and Angela might disagree with that, but I don't. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. The 34G. These blades are okay. Um, they remind me of Derby Blue. Have you ever used Derby Blue blades? Um, I'm not a fan of Derby Blades at all, but I was gifted a pack of Derby Blues. And although they're relatively smooth, they're not the sharpest. And to me, that's what these feel like. A relatively mild blade, but smooth enough. Wonderful. First pass block. Oh, I'm going to get a chance to get some extra videos up this week. Um, get some work done around the house. Primarily. I'm just resting. You know, recharging the batteries. Oh. So how are you all doing? How are you all coping? What's the weather like where you are? I've been waiting for this weather. Pretty much, I'm not a summer person. <laughs> and I've had people say to me, 
Because you're big, John. I'm like, what are you trying to say? Oh, put an answer to one and then you're too big. To... No. no, but it isn't. I remember when I was when I was a young man, up to being about 23, 24. I was chiselled out like Bruce Lee. Um, and I didn't cope with the heat then. It's just not for me, guys. It's just not for me. Envious of you guys that live in Canada. Hmm. And some friends of mine went to live in Canada. Where was it they went to live? No, I can't remember the name of the town they went to live in. Um, but he came back. He came back and he got in touch with me on Facebook a couple of years ago. And he said, John, I'm taking my family out in a pub that's near you. Come down and say hello. Kev, he's called. And he loves it. He was showing me pictures. He absolutely loves it. He drives the big rigs. You know what I mean? The, the, the lorries that transport trees, I think it is. He absolutely loves it. He does. Him and his family moved over there. They used to live... They used to live about a mile up there. Um, but yeah, he said it was the best thing we ever did. Moved to Canada. I've got some new subscribers from Canada. Thanks, guys. Hope you continue to like the videos. That's the only trouble, you know, when you make a bonus video, you come in here. What am I going to talk about? <laughs> what am I going to say? So sometimes, here we go, lather mittens. There isn't a lot on there, is there a lot? Wonderful. I love PA. And this is just my little way of getting some extra content on the very, very slick, that's so very slick. Getting a bit of extra content on the channel uh, and showing PA some love because they do fantastic soaps. They do absolutely. Fantastic soaps. And somebody left a comment saying, Where'd you get all your PA soaps from? Um, I buy straight from PA. I buy straight from PA. A tip for you guys you just pay your regular way, just there's no nothing complicated. Just go on, make your order, right? Now, some have said to me, we well, shipping's a bit on the pricey side. Take this into consideration, guys. I personally don't think his shipping's all that pricey at all, but just take this into consideration, guys. When Doug ships it to you, you do not pay VAT or customs tax when it comes in the country. It just shows up on your door 10 days later, right in your hand. Absolutely wonderful. And the exchange rate for the pound at the moment is really strong. Uh, it makes it makes these soaps about £14 each. £14. Uh, even when you calculate, I don't bother with the shipping because that's part of it. So we tend to wait until we've got several things because the shipping is up in blocks. So we will order several things to make sure it's worthwhile because I, I, I don't know off, off the top of my head, for talking say shipping's $20 for an aftershave. It'll still be $20 if you get two aftershaves and two soaps, you know what I mean? So that's what we do. But anyway, there we go. Shoppy here, yeah, some love. Look at that. That's the Lanka Shaleen. We did okay, didn't we guys? Did okay with that. Um, go on, yeah. We'll put this. This is a sweet, sweet smelling amber. I've got amber aftershaves in there are quite heavy. Ooh. Oh yeah, it is. It is. And there's alcohol in that and there's not a single stew. You've got to love the 34C stroke G, haven't you? There you go. Look at this. Just one squirt. I live with a couple of squirts in there. Angela and Samantha. 
Don't tell Miss Oh. Oh my word, yeah, that. Now, do you know what I get from that star jelly, guys? I get coffee. How bizarre. I got like a coffee scent then, I thought. A real good whiff of coffee. And that is our shave. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Here's to you. Now, the days are getting shorter. Well, they're not, still 24 hours. The daylight is getting less. Cold, dark times, um, physically and mentally for a lot of people. Think of someone you haven't seen or you haven't heard of for a week or two. Think of that neighbour on your street that's a little bit odd and you don't quite know how to take them. Give them a knock. Go give them a knock and just say, just say to them, just start knocking and see how you are today. I did it. <laughs> I did it with my neighbour and she looked at me like I had three heads. But hey ho, at least we showed some love, didn't we? Look after yourselves and I will see you on Wednesday. Surprisingly enough, for the Wednesday shave. Bye guys. <laughs>